meet the Dombrowski family. Thank you. Rick, Jody, Nicole, and their Great Danes, Abby and Harley. Six-year-old Abby has been with the family four and a half years. Harley made his entrance three months ago when their other Great Dane, Apollo, died. Uh, Apollo was with us for many years. He was just a fantastic, big, beautiful Great Dane. So when Apollo died, um, broke my heart, broke Abby's heart, and I'm gonna cry because there was no spark to our house. There was no, you know, there was no energy and everybody was so depressed that I thought we'll get another dog. And it worked opposite. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, stop. <laughs> so our daughter just left for college and I was hoping to have a life with my husband again, just him and I. We have been together for 22, 24 years, something like that. We definitely saw me. You got me good here? Stop. That's a really good one. Oh, good. I totally do not want another dog, and he didn't listen. I've accepted Harley. I've brought him into my heart, brought him into our family, but Jody has Dad, that's bad. Stop. Hey. Harley is a maniac. He's cool. He's bad. The only thing I love about Harley is his looks. Victoria arrives to observe the family's problems with the dog. Jody and Rick's son moved away years ago, but their daughter still has to deal with Harley's behavior when she comes home from college. Hi. Excuse us. Oh. Well, come here. No, 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 Jing. Come on, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice Victoria. to meet you. Hi, I'm Victoria. Great to meet you. Harley and, and nice. Abby. Are they horses or dogs? Straight away when I walked through the door, I saw Harley jump all over Rick. But it has a big dog to be jumping up. That's 150 pounds, six feet tall, huge. More like a horse than a dog. If Harley's rambunctious, Victoria sees that their other dog, Abby, is quite the opposite. She was a people person. Right, and now, and now, and now she this just is it. Laser depressed. Right. The whole purpose of getting him was to make her better because she was sad our other Dane died. Uh, Apollo was with us for many years. He was just a fantastic, big, beautiful, great Dane. So when Apollo died, um, broke my heart, broke Abby's heart, and now I'm gonna cry because. So we brought in another dog to make things better. He brought in another dog to make things better. Oh, you didn't. I did not. I totally resent Rick for this because I did not want another dog. It just, it seems to me that you're not listening. You're not listening to your family. You're not listening to your dog. Jody told you, I don't want another dog. Yes, she did. And Jody, what did Apollo mean to you? Everything, Apollo was my life. Do you feel like you ha have had enough time to mourn? Rick just doesn't get it. Rick, how do you feel when you hear Jody saying that she doesn't think you understand? It's true, I look at things differently. I get past things a lot quicker. And I thought that coming into the house and everybody's so sad that if you bring another dog in, it would cheer the house back up. We need your help, big time. It's a problem. Okay. This is obviously very emotional for you. Mm -hmm. Why are you feeling such emotion? Because I try to do everything I can for my family, and that's why I try to fix things, and it backfired. I can see how you just wanted everything to be okay, and you wanted your family to feel better, and you wanted Abby to feel better. I'm going to help you. Is there anything that you want to say to Jody, Rick? I, I'm sorry because I just never felt the way that you've been feeling. And I'm sorry you're afraid, and I know how upset you are and frustrated you are. I don't know what to say. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. It's got my face Stop. Currently, Rick Stop. and Jody are mauled Stop. by an overexcited Harley whenever they return home from work. So Victoria wants to change the rules of engagement for greetings. I want Harley to know that the only way that he's going to be able to greet Jody and Rick when they come in from work at the end of the day 
is when he's calm. The door training is going to be incredibly important to teach that. I have a pouch of food, and I have this great rubber toy, and in it, I put peanut butter. When you both come back, Harley's so excited, and all of that excitement is on you. His main focus is to say hello to you. What we need him to do is to A, be calmer, but B, to refocus that attention on this. I want to say hi to you, but all of my It's not going to be on you, it's going to be on this. All right, I'm going to show you what I mean. I want him to back away from the door before I go through it. This is called catching a behavior. I'm not asking him to do anything. I'm just waiting for a behavior that I like. And when I see that behavior, I'll reward it. Harley's reward is for the door to open. I'm going to catch any head turns, body turns, backing up, anything that takes him slightly away from the door. This dog is very motivated by attention and praise. Good boy. The method of training that I use doesn't impose a person's will upon the dog. It actually gets the dog to think for itself. See how he's working out? Good boy. It's a real test of patience. But after what seems like an eternity, Victoria's message gets through. Good boy. Good boy. Back, 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 back. Good boy. Now I'm just teaching him, if you back up, you get more. Mm -mm -mm. Now it's Rick's turn. It's very important for you. When you go in, tell him to back up. Make him sit for his treat. OK. Go. Good boy, good boy. Back up, back, 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 back. Good boy. It's very different to the greeting good. Rick usually gets. I am so excited. It, you know what? It, it's better than winning the lottery. Harley was actually backing away from the door to let them enter. That's the first time that's ever happened. And I think Rick was very proud of his dog. Good boy, good boy. And Victoria thinks more frequent walks will also help Abby. Because I am concerned about Abby being a little depressed. It's always the more badly behaved dog mm -hmm. that gets most of the attention. Th that's 100% true, because he's always in our face, and now she's always sitting in the corner by herself. Oh, look at that. Oh, now, Abby, that's gorgeous. This is her favorite grass. <laughs> Great Danes are much more comfortable walking at a faster pace. Mm -hmm. Can we just do a faster pace as we're walking here? Come on, boy. That's where, that's where he's getting the most. That's okay. where he's getting the exercise. Okay. If he starts biting on you, okay, no. stop. Don't put your hand in his mouth. I, I push his mouth away. Yes, exactly. Which is, this is a chew toy. <laughs> Yeah, he has been using it as a chew toy. Yeah, when his mouth goes over your hand, you're going like that. Come on, more of it. No, it's an immediate stop. Body language is so important when you're communicating with dogs. At the moment, Rick is encouraging and exacerbating Harley's excited behavior by being excitable himself. You have got to be a bit more okay. official. All right. A bit more leader-like. She's the tough one in the house. <laughs> That's why he doesn't do it to me as much. Yeah, Jeez. you see, dogs know a softy when they, you, come on. And I think dogs are so much more secure when they have a confident leader to follow. The best leaders are the ones that lead without force. Right. That's what you're doing. That's what them. I want to be. I want to lead without force. To show Rick how to do this, Victoria wants to address his body language. All right, Rick, I wanted to have a little one-on-one -on -one time. I knew this was gonna happen sometime. Yeah. Because I think it's time we talked a little bit about your body language. I think a lot of the way you are with Harley exacerbates his crazy behavior with you. 
Just... Oh, come on. No, I, I, come on. Okay. All right. All it's right. time to get down. Hey. You can't, in one breath, reward him for jumping up on your shoulders and then, in another, say he can't do it. He either can or he can't. And I think it's best for this dog not to. So there has to be a no jumping rule. And that's where body language is so important. Now, when I come through the door, Harley sniffs me and he walks away. And my body language is very strong and I'm calm. And I think that's what you have to be to Harley. And I also want, when you speak to him, to use one word commands rather than out, 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 just say out. And again, the way your body is, out. So stand like that and just say out. Out. That's it. And your eyes, focusing right on his eyes, you're giving a gesture, mm -hmm. you're saying one vocal command, your body is speaking volumes, and he's going to understand you because you've been so confusing. Right. He doesn't speak your language. We have to learn his. I mean, is there ever a point in time that I can go back to, like, kind of giving him a hug or...? You right. can give him a hug by you going down to his level. OK. But never, never when he comes up to you. No more encouraging that, OK? Mm -hmm. It's really important that Rick learns this body language and changes, because it's going to help Harley. And it's also going to keep Rick and other people safer. Hey, honey, Jardy, want to take the dogs to the dog park? Sure. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. Hey, guys, want to go to the dog park? Come on, you want to go out? Go, go, go. This way. This way, guys. We go at least three to three to five times a week to the dog park. Abby loves it. Harley loves it. They meet all the come different on. dogs, and we meet other people. We have a good, good time at the dog park. It's a lot of fun. Slow down. I get a hug you like this. Vile. You come with a smile. Stay back. OK, wrong way. As Victoria suggested, Rick jogs home with Harley. This will give Harley the extra exercise he needs. <laughs> that is so cool. Good job. That is so cool. All right. Abby and Harley were both pooped out. They just laid on the floor, and, and that was it. That was, that was the greatest thing. We actually sat next to each other, Jody and I, for the first time in a long time. Definitely mellow. It's like the stress has gone out of the house. Mm -hmm. Abby's happier. Yeah. Yes. Abby tried to play with him the other day. <gasps> yep, she got yeah, rambunctious with him. Yeah. It was awesome. Okay, good, <laughs> good. It's a real change in Harley's manners. It's, it's always going to be work in progress. I know it's difficult to, to remember it, but I think you're doing a great job, so stick at it. I'm going to. Stick at it, Rick. We know if we continue to do what, what Victoria has told us to do, that from now on, it's going to be a nice, beautiful relationship between us and, and, and Harley. All right. It's so wonderful Bye, Bye. to see training that is successful and working hard, reinforcing good behavior, giving your dog boundaries, giving your dog lots of love and affection speaks volumes for this training method. Rick and Jody have been fantastically successful, and Abby and Harley are better and happier dogs as a result. Thank you.